All right. Hey, guys. I am back. Here's what we're learning. So this is the tab version. I'm going to play one more time. I feel like this is going to be difficult. Uh, not just because it's like technically challenging, it's like there seems to be a lot of kind of rhythmic uh, modulations going on here. There's lots of different subdivisions and uh, having uh, small rests at the beginning of a bar. Um, there's lots of triplet stuff. There's also really fast trills, uh, 16th note trill uh, uh, triplets here um, at one, 168. So, you know, uh, let's warm up real quick. Here's my regular boring warm up. I warm up. How are you guys doing? How's everything going on? How's everything going on? What? How's everything going? You know? Playing lots of guitar? I hope so. I'm playing a lot. I'm leaving for tour tomorrow. So at the time of this recording, I'll probably have this out once I am on tour. So I'm sort of setting this up so I can release it while I'm gone. Um, so right now I'm practicing a lot, trying to make sure that I'm not too sloppy on stage. Uh, we're doing a European run. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I play in a band called Arch Spire. Uh, we're from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, yeah, we play sort of extreme death metal. Uh, if you want to check out any of the dates, uh, I'll post them in the description below. If you're in Europe, in the UK uh, as well, please try to come up to a show, say hi. Um, that'd be cool. I'd love to meet some of you guys. That'd be pretty awesome. feel all right. It's not a full warm-up, but hey, fuck it. Feels all right. I'm going to put this at 80 BPM and just hear the first couple bars. That's not 80 BPM. What is going on here? You. What was it, 168 total? How would you even do that? Uh, oh, I wonder if I can just do a, a different percentages. Uh, hey, there you are. Oh, cool. That's really interesting slow down. I've never heard it like that. By the way, this is uh, the synth and guitar solo, um, sort of a like a harmonized lead line uh, in the middle of the song Beyond This Life. Anywho. All right. All right, let's put on a measure. Oh, I got a measure. Oh, that's a weird pulse. My right hand does not want to do that. 
That's cool. Awesome. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cool. This is really interesting. I love it. Do four, uh, four note per string, or rather four notes on that first string. There you go. Sometimes you just gotta find the right, uh, the right kind of position, and, and it really just takes like one, one change, one small change, and all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, okay, that's probably how he plays it. Oops. tough. Uh, let's change the tab a little bit and make sure I'm, I'm going to play it the way that I want to play it. And that's my prerogative. I can do whatever the hell I want. Okay, so I'm going to slow down even more than that. <laughs> that is way too slow. Probably how I would play it. I mean, hey, you don't have to do exactly what I would do. I'm sort of sweeping it. It's like a really interesting line. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, now we're going triplets. I could do 40%. Hey, whatever. Oh, God, that's so weird. That's a tough one. That one sucks. What the hell, Petrucci? <laughs> I, 
keep blowing it. I keep forgetting what it is. I gotta play all together with a click. Just some slower kind of triplets with uh, some trills. Okay, so this is one thing that I I was thinking about talking to you guys about. I just took a quick look. I took a quick look at this tab before I started recording this video, and I noticed. Well, I mean, I also know just by listening to it, there's a lot of trills. So trills kind of look like this. You can do sort of slur trills. Or picked trills. He does a lot of picked trills. Um, there's also another way you can do this. Is yes, you can do this. So you can actually get quite a bit of speed. I like doing this with with octaves. Um, and I think that sounds pretty cool. So that might be something to look at in case you're having trouble getting the trills up to speed. Cool. Uh, whole thing. first part. So there's a bit of a phrase repeat there. I would pick every note. Yeah, that sucks. Alright. Alright, so from the top. All right. 
right, that's up to where I know. That's sweet. All right. Let's try it real slow. Stupid slow. Oh man. That does suck. 50% speed if you can do it. I don't think so. Not too much left. Okay. What? So cool. Oh my god, I love chromatic stuff like that. Interesting. All right. Stop. Whoops. Eleven ten. <laughs> cool. Uh. Pretty close to being done, actually. There's just lots of trills left, which is interesting. From the top at that same speed. Oh, I forgot that part. Oh. 
Oh man, I keep forgetting that shape. I'm like holding, barely even holding on in my brain to the shape. Always love this section. Okay, so uh, here's um, we're doing a bit of a polymeter because we have twos in groups of triplets, which is kind of interesting. about these uh, sort of double picked kind of things I find a lot of people have trouble with them my biggest sort of solution would be think about uh, downward pick slanting so in order to do these pretty evenly uh, and pretty quickly you need to sort of have like a, a, a bit of a plane of movement when it comes to your pick so that you're picking basically in a straight line when I'm picking these I'm not doing this sort of U shape I'll see if I can zoom up a little bit here gratuitous shot of my leg I don't want to do any sort of U-shape like this. You see how I, my pick kind of dances up and down? I don't want that. What I want is a straight line. So when you're thinking about trying to do these groups of twos, I would say that the best way to do them is to set your um, string changes on downstrokes. So every time you do a new string, uh, so right now there's an exercise I'm doing seven on the E, nine on the on the A. So every new string starts with a downstroke. Um, so you can you can think about it sort of like every downstroke you're in between the strings, every upstroke you're free to move about the strings. So, <coughs> excuse me, if I exaggerate the motion. So that would be sort of the way to think about it. Create a straight line trajectory for your pick. Downward pick slanting just basically means if instead of having your pick totally level parallel to the string, just dip down a little bit. See how my hand, right now I have it flat up against the string. It's probably like just about dead even to the camera with the string, just like this. Uh, see if you can see that. Mm. This might be better here. Trey Grady has a bunch of stuff on his channel that's where I, I, I basically got everything that I know about pick slanting. It's pretty much even, pretty much dead onto the string. You want to just tilt it down a little bit. It's kind of the downward pick slanting kind of way. And that works for setting yourself up for four note per string, uh, for economy picking with three note per string, um, for two note per string, for pretty much anything. Downward pick slanting is, is uh, super useful. At least, I mean, the thing is most people actually already do it. It's just uh, 
you don't don't really know what to call it. And I always say to people that that tell me, oh, I already do that. Like, why would I change my hand or, or whatever? Why are you teaching me this? I already do it. First off, it's like, you know, be open to new things for one thing. Another thing would be if you don't know that you're doing something beforehand, then how are you going to be able to improve it or change it or adjust it or analyze it or, or think about it in any way that's valuable? So if you do everything a guitar by feel, that's cool, but... Uh, at certain points, at least in my guitar playing career, I found myself wanting to improve the stuff that I've developed on feel and uh, being more analytical about your playing is never a bad thing. People might think, oh, well, I want to just get sort of... Honestly, I feel like a lot of people that would say I'm more of a natural player, I don't you know, think about this kind of stuff, and, you know, I, I just play. I feel like a lot of people aren't trying to learn Dream Theater solos that have that mentality, but I could be wrong. Uh, I just feel like this is such a technical thing that you need to be a little bit analytical. If you aren't, um, consider just taking a look at yourself in a mirror while you're playing guitar, taking some videos of yourself while you're playing guitar, and just see how things move and see how your right and left hand work together. Um, and just, uh, I don't know, just just try, attempt to be a little bit more aware of what's going on. All right rambling on. This is not so hard. I feel like I'm getting up to speed might be kind of challenging. I have it at 50% speed. Oops. Okay, just gotta learn that tail. That's not too bad. Uh, the very ending is... Okay. ends in the trill. That's fucking strange. Thanks a lot, Patricia. Interesting. All right, well, let's try the whole thing then. I feel like there's some parts in the middle I'm still kind of gapping on. Oh my god, I'm like forgetting it. I'm thinking about other stuff. I'm thinking about leaving for a tour tomorrow. One more time.
I feel pretty good about that at half speed. I'm sort of speeding some stuff up uh, just because I'm sort of wanting to rush it. Getting it. I am getting it. Uh seventy percent speed. Oh my god, that's a little bit too fast, I think. Uh I just like barely holding on mentally. with a click. Alright. Let's give this another shit. Another shit. Let's give it a shit. a little bit better. All right, give it a shot. Give it a shit. Let's give it a shit. percent speed everybody pretty quick alternatives and distortion see how it sounds right now I'm just getting the clarity down oh my god I can say right now that that is way harder at 80% speed. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, let's try it again, I guess. Uh, it's hard. Oh my god.
Alright. Some distortion. Oh my god. Okay, try it again, 80% speed and not hopeful. Okay. Again. Again. Whoops. All right. I think I'm fucking up a little bit. I think my I don't think I'm really able to pick pick those things full blast. It's this. It's really bar like three of this run of this section. Here, ninety percent. Okay, not too bad. I feel like that first part is just fucking me up. That is a tough run. Uh, alternatively, you could do this. Uh, it's got a bit of a different sound, but hey, if you want to do that, be my guest. Or be John Pertuzzi's guest. <sighs> Back to 90. Oh my god. I don't know if I can get this one to speed today. I just get a mental break whenever I get to that one part. Turn it again. Ninety percent speed. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. A little bit more clarity. Okay, I'm gonna drill that a couple times just by myself. Just trying to get the, the memorization down. Where is, let me pull up the metronome real quick. Whoops, Facebook. So the song is at 160, so I'm gonna do 150. Uh, time signature changes, none. Very good. Because the song is for sure 168, I think, right? Maybe it's not. No, let's try 145. song or with the tab rather. Let me turn on some distortion. Why the hell not? Certain parts are getting easier and certain parts are sort of staying the same. Uh, I think the parts that are staying the same are some of the right hand speed limits are a little bit, yeah, something about some of these, uh, some of these runs. So cool sounding. Try it at 80%, see how happy I can make myself. speed I'm pretty much there there's like maybe one or two small sections that I could work on but I think it sounds pretty good at 80% Let's try again One 
thing that's really cool about this is this little guy. Oh, I got a dead fret. Anyway, that little sweep guy is really cool. Oops. Oh man, it's so cool. I'm gonna try, attempt to get it up to speed today, but I, I don't think it's gonna be super clean. 90%. Sure, I think I need some work on some of those small sections there. Well, I'll tell you, 90% definitely feels a lot better than it did five minutes ago. Jinx. All right, I'm trying it at full speed, see how it feels. I don't think I have any real hope in hell. A hope in hell. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, there's like definitely some parts I need to work on. Okay, I feel all right about that, honestly. Uh, I haven't learned, I haven't played up to speed, but I would say probably at about 60 or 65% clarity. It's maybe not the the most clean I've gotten uh, this up to speed on one of these videos, but but I have the whole thing memorized. I feel like I learned a lot about just like uh, getting those trills with maybe other fingers. I, I, I imagine that some of you are probably watching this and being like, I wouldn't, like in here. here's your internal sort of dialogue. Uh, or mono, I guess. I would never play trills like that. And so the example I'm talking about is between the middle and the ring. Uh, if you aren't super comfortable with those types of trills on those other fingers, you should make that part of your practice. Just getting used to... Even just taking like a regular old chromatic thing, the thing I the bullshit I always warm up with. Uh. And just sort of like going backwards in trills. something a little bit uh, beneficial to your left hand kind of practice so thanks again for taking the time uh, to watch this episode please like and subscribe and leave some comments and suggest suggestions 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 in the uh, in the comments below I'd love to hear what you think and what you think I should play and I would love to hear you guys learn this stuff that'd be awesome uh, it's really hard not all of it actually yeah it's all really hard <laughs> that's not so hard Ugh. All right. See you next time.